But as we talk about a fast track process here in the rolling out of a, a vaccine that has a very strong efficacy rate, what is the challenge of getting it into uh, the uh, various uh, distribution areas and making sure that there's no problem with the vaccine? Because this one that we talk about does require ultra cold storage. Just talk us through how uh, hard a challenge that is. Sure, good morning. Um, in vaccine distribution, uh, obviously you're talking about millions per plane. And so far, um, the latest vaccines, which require dry ice, you're only allowed to, to put a certain amount on a plane. So we're talking about a thousand kilos of dry ice, which gets you roughly 300,000 of uh, vials onto an aircraft. So the rest of the plane cannot be filled with that vaccine because of safety reasons. Well, they're looking to, to increase those limits, but uh, we, on, in the meantime, had to come up with a solution. How can really uh, turn this into sort of a game changer for mass distribution? And so we've developed a product which allows to distribute at least 1.75 million on an aircraft of vials, which means 1.85 million people uh, can actually get uh, yeah, the vaccine with, with one plane. So as you roll out globally, this is an important uh, game changer to reach the masses quickly and efficiently. Richard, uh, we've been focused on the efficacy of the vaccine, but what about execution error on the logistics? Is there any chance that the, the temperature could fail and then vaccines would have to be thrown away? Well, historically, this was a significant issue, but it depends on the, the countries it's going to. So in Western markets, the failure rates tend to be 1%, but this is in the common area of 2 to 8 degrees Celsius. So in the minus 7 degree field, this is very rare. That There was never a mass product before. So I expect there will be issues, but obviously the pharma company is very good at resolving those together with the logistics industry. And um, so I do expect there will be issues. Um, to emerging markets, this could be as high as 15% that get lost. And um, so that's why we've actually teamed up uh, with the Abu Dhabi government to form the HOPE uh, consortium to help actually distribute to the Middle East, um, Northern Africa, and other larger countries there that do not have the infrastructure.